Hi there, I'm Sadie and this is my helper, Sienna. And today is the nursery rhyme, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So today we're going to make some arts and crafts and lots of starry things. So the first thing we're going to do is make some painted papers because we need to make these to make our stars. So you're going to need some paints, you're going to need some yellows, some whites, maybe something sparkly, some silvers or some golds to put in there as well. You can use card or you can use paper, it's up to you. Sugar paper is fine as well, so you need some papers to do that. What you need to do is you need to get your paint and you can get lots of different brushes, so small ones, really big ones as well. And then you just start by picking up some yellow paint and then just spreading it any old how on your paper. So it doesn't have to be tidy, it doesn't have to be neat at all. We want them to be nice and messy, lots of different patterns in there. So I've put some yellow on first. Now I'm gonna put a bit of mm, some oranges on there as well. A little bit of orange is all going on there as well. And if you can see, that's just put some more color in there. And now I'm gonna get some more white and a bit more yellow as well and just put that on there. I'm maybe going to do some circles or some zigzags just to blend them all together to make lots of different colours in there. I've also got some silver, so I'm going to use a brush and get some of the silver paint on there. And I'm just going to dab it. It doesn't matter, it doesn't need to look neat and tidy. It can look however you want. So I've just dabbed the silver on there as well. I've also got some toilet rolls and I've squished that one together or you can make them into the circle shape. Dip it into your paint and you can also press that over and make some little circle marks on there as well. Then I've got these spreaders. Now you can use a dry brush as well and you can just spread it all over your paper. So that just spreads all of the paints together. It just makes them look all blended again even more so so you just put, you can use that one or I've got another one here and you just stretch it through and make some patterns in it as well so once you've finished your painted paper you can go and put that to dry you might want to pause for a minute while you go and put all your paints and your papers to go and dry in the sunshine for a minute once you've finished with that one we need to then do our paper plates so we get a plain paper plate and like that one Sienna and we need some blues as well so you need to have a couple of blues which would be good so maybe a dark one and a lighter blue as well so the first thing you need to do is paint around if you want to do it with a Sienna paint around the edge of the paint here because it's got the little bumps and lines on it it's easier if you paint around those first so Sienna's painting those in one color Fabulous. She's getting all of those there. And then she's going to do the top part of the plate as well. So she's going to get her brush, we can get a dry one, and go around in circles. So we want to paint this in circles because this is going to be our sky for our mobile. So if we paint it in circles, it makes a really nice pattern. Do you just want to hold that one up a minute, Sienna? Yeah. So that's now we've done the first part of the paint there. So now we're going to use the dark paint to go over the top of it. So this dark paint here. And do your circles around that one as well that's it all around yeah you're going to get a little bit messy on this one so you probably want to make sure you've got an apron or an old shirt on as well and make sure you've rolled your sleeves up so you don't get dirty hands on that one as well and all up your arms so once you've painted all around your paint and around the edge as well lovely once you've done that then you can go and put that one to dry as well while Sienna's finishing that, the next thing you can do, once your paint has dried, you can get maybe some cotton buds or a little fine brush as well. And then you can dab that into some white paint and just put some simple little dots to look like stars all over your dark plate. And then you can just leave that one to dry for a minute as well. So there we go. So we're gonna go and leave those to dry. And now hopefully, your painted papers should be nice and dry. So here's our painted paper that's already dried. So what we're gonna do is we've got some star templates, which you can get from the Courtyard website, or you can also draw your own stars, it's up to you. So we've got lots of different size star templates here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the paper over, and on the plain side, we're gonna just use a pencil to draw around those. So we're gonna start and draw around our templates. 
Once we've drawn lots of those, then we can cut them out. And I've already cut some out ready. So here is ours already cut out. We've got lots of different sizes all cut out there. So that's that stuff. Once you've cut those out now, you can also choose if you would like to keep them plain or if you would like to put some patterns on. So you can do lots of patterns. You can use a black felt tip pen, or if you've got any gold metallic pens or silver pens, that would be lovely too, or any color you want to. You can just draw some little patterns on those. So here we've got a couple that are already drawn onto. Once you've decided that and had to go with those, then you can make so this first is what we're gonna make. So this is our little wand, so our little star wand. It's nice and simple to make. So if you take two of your big stars here and then turn them over and what you need is a straw so you can get some paper straws and you can use your glue stick and then literally just glue them together, the stars, glue the one side of your star and then put your straw right in the middle like that and stick it on there. Then you can get some tissue paper, cut it into strips you might need to get a grown-up to help you cut those put and stick them on either side of the straw. So one, two, of course you're going to want it purple, good colour on those. So once you've stuck those onto your star then you can get the other star, glue that one to get glue all over the back of that star as well and then you simply stick them over the top of each other and there is your star wand. You might leave it, need to leave the glue to dry a little minute just so it's all done but that will be your star wand there. There you go. <laughs> the next thing we can do as well is we can make now, as long as your paper plate is dried, we can make this hanging mobile. So on there I've used lots of different sized stars. So we've got the small ones, the medium ones and the large ones. Again, you can leave them plain or you can pattern them, it's up to you. And then you can stick them onto it or you can have it hanging down. So there's lots of choices to make it how you want it to be. So now your paper plate has dried, what you need to do is cut it into a spiral. So if you draw on the back, and you might want to get a grown up to help you with this as well. So if you draw a spiral, start from the center and draw around and make your spiral bigger until it gets to the end. Then get your scissors and just cut around the line all the way till you get to the middle. And it goes around all the way to the middle. Then you can get your stars. We're going to have some pattern ones or some plain ones, Sienna? Um, patterns. Some patterns. So would you like to choose a couple of stars? Yeah. Would you like to draw some patterns on them? So now we've got to the centre, where we can turn it over, and there is our plate in a spiral. So if you can get your stars, and then you can draw some patterns on them, and what you can just do is get your glue stick and stick some of them straight onto your mobile there. There's some Sienna's patterned ones. I've just put some double-sided tape on there to make it quicker. You can stick them over there or you can get some little pieces of string and if you have two of them you can then put the string in the middle of two of them so take one put some glue on it put your string in the middle and then stick your second one on there and then you can either tape it or glue it and fix it onto there so that's how you do the your hanging mobile okay so that how it will be so they're hanging down from there then, if you've got some more stars left, perfect, thank you Sienna, we can make a mobile, can't we? Do you want to hold that please? There we are. So you can make a hanging mobile with your stars as well. Again, you can pattern them if you want to, or keep them plain as well. And you simply, to do this, you just need your string and your stars. So, choose your stars. And we've got a big roll of string here, haven't we? Do you want to hold it? There yeah. we are. So take it the length that you need it to be, to go on your wall maybe, in your bedroom, and then you cut the length you need. Again, you might need a grown up to help you with the cutting. Okay, and then you might need some sellotape for this one, or some glue, it's up there. Um, where's our tape, there it is. So take your sellotape, and then just cut some over the back of the string, 
and then that will be attached on there. And then you can choose as many stars as you want. You can do big ones or you can do little ones as well. You can mix it up, it's up to you. And then once you've finished, there will be your hanging mobile. So all of that from those painted papers, you can have a mobile for your wall. Um, there's that one there as well. And you can have a wand. So the choice is yours. You can do one of them or all of them. It's up to you. So there you go. Hope you enjoy making your twinkle twinkle little stars and I hope you've enjoyed your activity today. Thank you very much. Bye! Bye.